So we want to put up one more time that website in case anybody out there has any information that might help them find out who was in fact behind this attack. Uh, the website for any tips like that, any information to the government set up by the FBI is www.ifccfbi.com. And again, there's a 1-800 number that you can call to find out any information about family members who might have been victims, friends or family. Osama bin Laden quickly emerged as a prime suspect in this attack and Senator Orrin Hatch says intelligence officials told him people on at least one of yesterday's airplanes appear to have been associated with Osama bin Laden. U.S. officials have long feared what bin Laden might do. Here's ABC's Brian Ross with more. Commercial airlines have been a part of many of the terrorist schemes tied to today's prime suspect, Osama bin Laden. According to federal court records filed by prosecutors in New York, terrorists working for bin Laden have often received training as pilots, some with U.S. pilots' licenses for large jets. In fact, some pilots say the turn the second plane seems to have made in hitting the World Trade Center would be difficult for an amateur to carry out. I think we have to start looking for people who are trained to fly these planes, people who knew what they were doing, because no pilot would ever fly in and destroy everybody. As for bin Laden, after tracking him through his cell phone for several years, American intelligence officials reportedly lost track of him last year. People at NSA told me that they had been able to eavesdrop on Osama bin Laden for, uh, uh, for a long period of time, and then all of a sudden um, it all went silent. They weren't able to track him anymore. Federal prosecutors say bin Laden has a pattern of making good on his threats, and just three weeks ago, the Middle East Broadcasting Company reported the latest warning from bin Laden and his followers that the coming weeks would bear significant surprises during which American and Israeli interests worldwide would be targeted. Men must send their sons to the battlefields and the fighting quarters so that they can be prepared militarily for the religion of Muhammad to triumph. That was three weeks ago in the Afghan desert. Brian Ross, ABC News, New York.